Good afternoon, everyone. The relationship between rising CO2 levels and temperature increasing has just been broken. There's no longer a correlation between the two. Arctic and Antarctic surface air temperatures decreasing, North Atlantic water temperatures decreasing, and the Pacific decadal oscillation decreasing. Welcome to La Nina and the new cooling phase. Global surface air temperature, anywhere it's blue, decreasing. Anywhere it's white, there's been no change. Anywhere it's green or dark green, a little bit warmer. You can see blue outnumbers green. UAH, University of Alabama, Huntsville, temperature satellites. Far right is where we are at 2015, almost 2016. As you can clearly see, this is not the warmest year on record. It's a decreasing trend from 1999, 1998 going down. The second heat spike was 2010 and 11, and since then it's been decreasing. You can see it's a linear downward trend. And the elephant in the room, the bad house guest gorilla in the room, CO2 doesn't really match any longer, the temperature rises. So their entire model is broken. Stop right there, global warming people. Your CO2 unequivocally absolutely does not match any longer the global temperature increases. It's time for this global warming movement to take a look at the data. Everywhere you look, surface stations, far right is where we are at 2015, just entering 2016. It is not the warmest year on record. Look back at 2007, look back at 1993, 2009, 2011, and those are all warmer than it is right now. When we're looking at uh, lower troposphere temperatures from satellites, as you can clearly see on the far right at 2015, we are at least the fourth coolest year minimum. It's cooling, not warming. Arctic and Antarctic surface air temperatures are on a decline as well. This is the global lower troposphere. Great, it shows the exact same thing. 2015 to the far right, it is not this warmest year ever. 1998 and 1999, followed by 2010, were higher than today. And if we want to break it down into just regions and everybody claims Arctic warming, Arctic warming, blah, 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 it is not. This goes from 1920 to the far left to today, 2015. And you can see we're in a downtrend cooling again. This is the coolest of the last... 10 years in the Arctic. This is a nice variation of global monthly air temperature correlated to sunspots and solar minimum, solar maximum. Showing the exact same thing. Far right is where we are with the temperatures showing that 2015 is cooler than several other years. It is not the warmest year ever. This is the North Atlantic water temperatures Cooling. This is the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation that is going cool at this moment. As well, this is 0 to 30 west, just a different section of the ocean up there. Same thing showing cooling. This is the Pacific decadal oscillation. Also, later on in the year 2016, this El Nino ceases and we turn and go into La Nina, which is a Pacific cooling. Cloud cover is increasing. Global temperatures are decreasing already, even with the heat from the El Nino. The Atlantic is cooling. Once the Pacific cools, we get into this grand solar minimum. Cloud cover increases. You can generally see we're going toward a cooling trend. And we should be discussing this in an open scientific debate. And right along with everything said, there should be an increase in ice concentration as well. More snow creates more ice, lower temperatures. It's kind of in a feedback loop of going cold right now. Average monthly sea ice extent, this goes back to 1979. The last couple of years, 2014, 13, and 15, are right above the 1979 to 2014 mean average. 
we were talking Arctic shrinking, Arctic shrinking. There's no ice left. We're going to go uh, swimming up there. Yay. In the summer, it never occurred. It never happened. And ice is increasing. I don't know what's going on. This is a concerted effort to continue to get you to believe it's warming when all of the data is contrary to what you're being told. Actually, I was called a denier of climate change, and I said, I don't deny it, I actually accept it. But the reasons that it is changing is because cosmic ray induced cloud formation from a decrease in the magnetosphere of the sun, which decreases our magnetosphere on the earth, which changes our atmosphere, along with increasing volcanic activity. I totally believe our climate is changing, but I don't believe it's CO2. And I don't believe in paying a global tax on any such thing. And I don't believe in destroying our economies for something that you can clearly see is false data from the global warming people. Here is the real data that they don't want you to see or they're keeping it out of the media for some political agenda. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. This channel is a truth platform. I am trying to show you what is happening and why it's happening. I believe in bringing you the truth and allowing you to make your own decisions. Please make sure to share this through your social media so others can see what's really happening and the changes occurring on our planet.